Alright guys, we're back again with our Narco Road DLC walkthrough, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Looks like we're heading to the last mission of the game. And, uh, apparently we had a little bit of a, of a PVR problem right there, but I'm going to go back to the previous mission next time because, um, it only recorded up to the, uh, to the bunker part there and then it just froze and quit on me right there. So, we're going to proceed to this, uh, to this mission, which is called Endgame, as we need to kill the target. I think our only weapon that we have right now is the D-50. There's basically nothing we could do at this point. to die. It's just a moment. We're here. Now you're not here. How's that for you? All right, well, we've uh, we killed the target, so I'll just hope my PVR doesn't freeze on me this time. Let me just make sure. Okay, we're still going. Okay, we're just going to hold and speed up those credits right here. Because, yeah, basically the last mission here is end game and the simple as that we just have to kill the target and we're done that's really all we need to, to do right there all right so uh there you have it folks that was the whole dlc right there of narco road but we're definitely not done yet because um we still got to talk to our third and final informant and then Get all the intel collectibles um, from the El Divisible region. All right. I think uh, the first DLC expansion was good, but I think the steering and everything else has gone down a bit. I ever read this DLC about six or seven. It was not that bad. I'm definitely looking forward to following Ghosts later this year. So I'll definitely be doing a walkthrough for that. Sorry about the screen. Oh, we have a video here. We don't point fingers. We don't take sides or make excuses. What happened is not down to any individual, any team or policy. We were victim of a clever deception and could not have known the damage that this deception had caused. Risa's or El Zamuro's is Jose Vargas. He had been planning this attack interaction for some time. The hacker, Regillo, arrested by the CIA prior to these events, was the deliberate catalyst. The information Regillo gave us about El Invisible and his pay was false. What concerns us is that we found no evidence to suggest that Vargas... 
part of the natural enemy of the CIA. So the question remains, why us and me now? Vargas was estranged from his Chukisaka family and friends. He made a name for himself on the street as the cunning but affable fence, Sonrisa. Later, he was confidentially recruited by Santa Blanca to control their smuggling network. But this El Invisible, as he became known, was never personally affected by CIA operations. One source suggested that during the recent drug wars, someone close to Vargas was killed by the DEA. The name Capullo de Rosa appears on several confessions we have obtained, but we can only speculate about this person's involvement in our story. What is clear, however, is that Vargas wanted to give up his position in the Santa Blanca hierarchy and used us to help him start a new life in America. Regrettably, a man with such skills at hiding his true identity has proved impossible to trace. My advice to you would be to learn from the unfortunate affair and put it all behind you. Okay, so basically there's like uh, three Bowman briefings and four picture evidences right there. And there you go, Hail Invisible is dead. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we have an informants area up there. Okay, I know we did that, we did that, we did that, and we did that. Okay. Okay, so before we wrap this all up, um... We'll definitely do a fast travel. We'll talk to the third and final informant. And then that informant can help us on the location. Or the, the location of the rest of the Intel collectibles here in El Invisible. Oh. All right. <laughs> Forget about Iske. Completely forgot about that. So he eventually did two fast travels all for nothing. <laughs> Okay. Time to ask the informant. About 200 meters away. I think we'll just walk there. They hated me. Boys, they hated me too. I hated you. But then I discovered. Oh, sorry. I am here to help you. I have some very nice gifts for you. No es cierto. Han de ser puros cuentos. No en serio. Okay, so let's make sure we have all the collectibles here. We'll start with. Uh, we'll begin with weapons here. So we have one. Actually, I think I see three skill points there. It's four. What is it? Okay, and one, two. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, we're good. All right. So uh, the final video for Narco Road DLC will be the all Intel collectibles in El Invisible, and we're going to be doing that next time. So until then, folks, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on the final video of Narco Road DLC for Ghost Recon Wildlands. Take care, folks.